Last week, we finally got a look at the new, highly anticipated First Strike decks, a product specifically designed for a player's very first experience with Flesh and Blood. And the decks themselves are incredibly exciting. New heroes, of course, an array of brand new cards, and beautiful yet subtle watermarks for a visual assist on the element cards. Overall, nothing short of a massive win. But an interesting thing out of the First Strike decks was that the decks came with an alternate loaded of arcane-focused equipment. Now, it of course makes a lot of sense that, with Arcane as a key part of the Aurora deck, one would want to be able to defend against it. So why then is this interesting? Because the CC Armory decks to this day do not have any sideboard nor alternate loadout. And we've been told that this is very much intentional, that the CC Armory decks are streamlined for new players and that it would add unnecessary complication. So it begs the question then, why the difference in approach? If anything, the onboarding product should be simpler than the CC Armory deck product. So today I'll argue that if the First Strike decks have a sideboard, albeit a limited one, then so should the Armory deck products. A huge shout out to our channel members for supporting what we do here. If you want to get involved with the channel and the Dice Commando community, please consider joining as a channel member. Remember, these videos are only possible with your support. You can show that support with a like, a subscribe, and by leaving us a comment and sharing your feedback. Community first, and go Commando. For years now, Flesh and Blood players have been clamoring for an off-the-shelf, classic constructed ready, pre-constructed product. And at Gamma earlier this year, it was announced that players' wishes had finally been granted the Armory Deck product line available only at your local game store. But when the first of these, the KO Armory Deck, landed in late spring, it was met with mixed reactions at best. And ignoring the powerful chase cards, lack of class staples, allocation issues, and debates over pricing and value, one thing left many in the community scratching their heads. No sideboard cards, not even a set of null rune for the most basic arcane protection. But we were assured by the developers that this was very much intentional, and that the product was intended as a shuffle up and play type experience for our new players, and that upgrading them was part of their journey. Now, while the community still questioned the success of a new player going to an armory event without arcane protection, we, at least largely, disagreed and committed. And we moved on, accepting the product overall as a net positive. And this has continued through the subsequent armory deck products, 60 cards, 4 equipment, 1 hero, and 1 weapon. Shuffle up and go. It was clear that the logic for the armory deck entry level products was that sideboarding, even just at the equipment level, was something that the developers did not want a new player to be concerned with. And that's why the recent reveal of the first strike decks and the included alternative equipment pieces for arcane protection made me raise an eyebrow. Now let's be very clear about this. I am in no way talking down about the first strike decks. I am super, super excited to get my grubby little paws on them and smash them into one another. And I'm also super, super excited about Aurora. Furthermore, I believe that the inclusion of the Spellboid equipment was absolutely the right call and I applaud it. So no, this has nothing to do with First Strike itself. Rather, it's a rehash of the conversation around the lack of sideboard, or at a minimum, loadout support in the CC deck product line. And I believe it to be completely fair to do that rehash, so to speak, given the apparent conflicting messages that we've been given between First Strike and the Armory deck products. Now, I get it, someone out there will be saying to the screen, well, they changed it due to the feedback the community gave them, and, and I'm sorry, I, I just don't believe that to be true, primarily given the timelines between them, First Strike was almost certainly in the final stages if not already committed to print, meaning that it that decision had already been made at the same time. And second, the Azalea deck, which just hit the shelves last week and still remains with the basic structure. So yes, it is quite fair to re-ask the question of why the Armory decks don't have similar loadout options. Well, yes, it is still an entry-level product, it is one that, as compared to the intent of the First Strike product, requires more game knowledge and ability of its target audience. The Armory decks are a pick-up-and-play product, not a learn-to-play product. First Strike, in contrast, is a learn-to-play product. From their own page, perfect starting point designed to teach new players the basics. So the important difference here is that, via LSS's own definitions, is that the agency of a player grabbing the Armory deck is significantly higher than the target audience of the First Strike decks. And that's why having options present in the product that targets the lower knowledge player, not the one designed to make the player to the next step, I think is a little questionable. And since we can all agree that having Spell Void in the First Strike decks is probably the right decision, then it leads to a logical answer. It's time to put alternative loadouts and even sideboard options into the CC Armory deck products. If players who are just learning the game can handle it, 
and so can someone certainly headed to their armory. So let me know below if you agree. Should the CC armory decks have sideboard options and at the very least, alternative loadout options? So in closing, I do want to give a huge shout out to LSS for continuing to develop and evolve their onboarding portfolio and for the work that they do to equip us, the community, with the tools we need to grow this game. And I want to thank you all for your time today. And as always, my friends, go Commando.